Good morning to you, I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby and we want to spend the next few minutes showing you eight strid of Finnan in Rachib. Now the first thing I want to do is show you how to find the property because it's tucked away in a non-vehicular situation right on the fringe of the village with sheep pasture next to it. I'm standing on Rachib High Street here which is probably one of the quietest and narrowest high streets anywhere. That end takes you down to the village pub and the local shop if we go up the hill, within a couple of minutes, we're on the verge of open scenery, beautiful countryside that extends up to the Carnethai. We're just on the junction here of Fourth Tannerbog, where the village bakery is along there. And there's just a little public footpath here off Stridvauer that takes you to the bottom of the garden of 8 Stridfinnen. There's also another access to the property about 25 yards up the road here with another footpath that takes you across in front of the other properties. So stay watching and I'll show you around. Now you can see behind me there's plenty of on-road parking in the adjacent streets to the property but because you are about 50 meters away from the road you can't park directly in front of your own house but what that does mean is that you're in a traffic free location and your pets and children are all going to be really safe here now i told you that it was tucked away here that's the penring quarry right across the valley there this is the gate at the bottom of the garden As we come up the garden, you can see it's about 30 metres long. There's a lower lawned area, and then there's a further sit seating terrace um, halfway up. And then right at the top here, we've got this big concrete patio area with great views from it. These double gates here also lead on to the other right of way over to the road, which you can use as well. Let's go inside now. And the hallway here is the main entrance to the house. It's very practical with this quarry tile flooring here and you can see most of the interior doors have also got natural wood grain finish to them. This family size lounge is a warm and welcoming room and it's got wood effect laminate flooring, great views to the front and there's plenty of space for a six person table for, as a dining area as well. Next I want to take you out the back here to the kitchen. In here there's a good surprise. This UPVC double glazed door leads to the rear garden but it also works like a stable door so it's really good to have the fresh air coming in here during the summer and the dog could be happy in the yard. The kitchen's been planned out to make the best use of the space available. There's room for an upright fridge freezer here space for an electric cooker, there's a hood above it, there's space for a washing machine and a dishwasher here as well and the walls are completely lined with cupboards for extra storage. Upstairs here I might be getting myself in a bit of trouble, it's got lovely carpets laid all the way up the stairs which continue up to the top floor as well and I haven't taken my shoes off yet. Up here on the landing it's been really well utilised so that there's a nice study space here and also a terrific view out the front window. This is a really good spot to get an appreciation of what the front garden looks like. Quite often if you buy a terraced house, you've got to make do with a single third bedroom. The advantage here is that there's actually three double sized bedrooms in the house. This is the front bedroom, again with a nice view. This rear bedroom has also got a set of full wall width double wardrobe cupboards for good storage. And there's a nice private outlook to the garden at the rear. The modern bathroom's got pine flooring dual aspect windows and an up-to-date suite. But what really makes this room special is the view through this window. The mountains look fantastic in the morning. And this is a condensing gas-fired combination boiler that provides instantaneous hot water for you and also serves lots of radiators throughout the house. Next, this lovely spot-lit staircase leads you up to the top floor with the big double main bedroom. And it won't come as a surprise to anybody that these are the best seats in the house when it comes to enjoying the views. 
So last, but by no means least, I'd now like to take you downstairs again and I'll show you the back garden. So there's a few steps up here to the back garden. It's, I don't know, it's probably about the same size overall as the front garden, but it's very private out here. It's got lots of screening and privacy, and there's some lovely views of the mountains over to my right here as well. As well as the main lawn area, there's a shed, lots of log storage, and this sunny seating area where you can really enjoy the views. Stay there, Rube. Oh, shit. oh no! <laughs> well, I thought that was going to be the best way to finish this video, but the hammock's broken. Luckily, Ruby's is still intact. So, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed watching it and I hope it's been useful to you. If you'd like to come and have a look at the property yourself, please give our office a ring and we'll arrange for Joe or Grace, the owners who live here, to show you over. In the meantime, if you're interested in watching future videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel using the link at the end of this video. Remember, our number is 01341 281 599. I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.